and the member for Kuyong has the call. Madam Deputy Speaker, I rise to join the Prime Minister, the Leader of the Opposition and many other colleagues in honouring the sacrifice of Corporal Richard Atkinson. Only 22 years of age, Corporal Atkinson was tragically killed while on combat operations in Afghanistan. A proud member of the 1st Combat Engineer Regiment and on his first deployment to Afghanistan, Corporal Atkinson will be sadly missed by family, friends and a grateful nation. At this time, our deepest thoughts and prayers are with his fiancée, Danielle, his father and mother, Ross and Kate, and all their extended family. Corporal Atkinson loved being in the Army and loved being with his mates. In his eulogy at a special memorial service at multinational base Tarancot, Major Dar David French told of Corporal Atkinson's cheeky nature, his commitment and professionalism to the task at hand and his natural leadership abilities. Acker, he said, was never happier than when he was on the job and he was bloody good at it. So farewell, Digger. While we mourn and miss you here, others who have gone before you welcome you to the fold. Travel safely, mate. We miss you. These powerful words were expressed by one soldier to another and say it best. Now let it be known that Corporal Atkinson's ultimate service to his country is not in vain. His efforts in Afghanistan and those of his fellow servicemen and women are helping to make that country a better place and the world more secure. It is an international mission in which Australia plays an important part and is making a real difference. The mission in Afghanistan is and will be long, hard and painful, but one in which 22 Australians have already been tragically killed and 168 wounded, including Sapa Rose, who was injured by the same improvised explosive device that took the life of Corporal Atkinson. We say to each of our fallen soldiers, and particularly today to the family of Corporal Atkinson, to your family and friends and fellow servicemen and women, our thoughts and prayers are with you always, and a grateful nation will never forget.